Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Civilization VI, playing as Mongolia with Kublai Khan at the helm on Deity Difficulty. We also have the Barbarian Clan mode on, which does mean we can start developing some of these Barbarian encampments into city-states and see how that works. Um, but yeah, we have already got three cities. We're going to work on a couple more this episode, I believe. And let's jump right into the episode. All right, here we are in game. Before we get started, again, please, I'm only going to say this for the first few episodes, uh, please like and subscribe uh, if you do enjoy this type of content. It really, really helps me out a whole lot, and I definitely greatly appreciate it. Um, I don't ask a lot, but I'm going to try and start asking a little bit more because I would really like to see the channel grow and, and continue to get better to uh, just make it worthwhile for me to continue to do this. I put a lot of effort into these videos, a lot of effort into the equipment, and uh, you know, it would be nice if it can grow into something that could... Uh, sustain itself at some point so i do appreciate it uh and thank you very very much all right in the episode here i got a couple city states or a couple uh sorry barbarian encampments already we had one over here that we just cleared out this one we're going to try and groom and build into a city state maybe just to see what it looks like uh, we got another one jump down here gray shark which is pretty cool uh we'll see what happens with that one that's a bit further away might be we're just leaving that one alone for a little bit longer although we are kind of trending that direction so who knows what we will do with that now, uh, you do have a promotion, Mr. Archer. I think I will go and grab that promotion now and uh, help you out a bit. State workforce can be done in one turn. I guess we'll go ahead and do state workforce just to get it done. I mean, we are going to be building a special district soon. I guess it is saving us. I don't know. It's worth it. Uh, this will allow us to start working on political philosophy, though. Now, let's go and get that done. Getting the next government would be very, very good. Um, I usually go with, like, Liang early, as a lot of times. Uh, I could see an argument for Magnus early, especially if we're going to do some chopping at some point. Amani early, depending on the strategy you're going with. We've only seen two city-states, so I don't... And nobody else has seen them themselves, so we kind of have free reign of those at the moment. Um, Pingala's early feels a little bit weak. 15% bonus science, just when you don't have much science to begin with. Although guys, 15% of anything is still something. It's still 15% more science, so shouldn't dismiss it too much. Um, I think we'll go with Liang. Put Liang in Xanadu for now. We'll probably get another builder out of there at some point. Move that city state a little bit alone for now. How much are we spending on our units right now? Two. So we can reduce that by two. Which is something. I mean, it's, it's definitely worth something to us. Three housing is insane. Up to three housing based on appeal. None of these have appeal currently, so we have to take that into account, I suppose. I mean, we're going to need an encampment. That, that is critical to our strategy anyway. So, I mean, I'm probably going to camp it up here. It's probably okay. Save this one for something else. I also put it over here kind of near the coast, which would not be a bad idea. Costs a little bit of money, but might be better. Yeah, let's go for it. Some reason I like that tile better. I don't know why. Uh, we do have a promotion already. Okay, never mind. I, forget, I didn't realize that. Uh, which means we could get a second guy. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab Magnus and put him down. I'll be down here because there's probably some stuff that we might be clearing out in that area. Honestly, not much for us to do except just kind of chill for now. I mean, I guess I could send some guys down here to mess with that guy. Traders. I guess we'll go to Jerusalem. It will give us a route to Coca-Cota. Coca-Cota? I should rename that to Coca-Cola. Uh, anyway, uh, so we'll go with that, I guess.
or ship coming out. All righty, he could preserve down here. Not at the moment. We do need the granary though. A position without a knowledge of astrology. Those are holy sites at least. I'll grab irrigation. That's going to be useful to us. I'm just going to auto explore for you. Just leave you here in town. I'll move the other archer down this way, maybe. Oh, look. A little hut up there just waiting for us. Theology. Eh, I don't know if that's super helpful, but we'll go with it. A little bit more land up here than I expected, but it is cutting off right there. The man who Nothing else exciting up there at the moment. Forest. Can start doing banana stuff now. Um, all right, we're gonna start working on writing. We gotta, we gotta get something going there. I think at some point. Some vision over here looks all good i'll go ahead and heal up while you're over there we'll move you in a moment looks like you are still 50 plus turns on your conversion huh are there like stages like would there be like a is this like gonna get you there and you do you turn into a city state once you get there don't know oh you cleared out the barbarian encampment down here well good for you guys i guess that means this archer can come over here to the city start dealing with some of the Ships coming in. Um, we don't want to get the barracks because we do want to hold off on the Urdu. I think we'll go ahead and get us another settler. We've already got the increased speed. Uh, we're going to finish off political philosophy. We're not getting another city state anytime soon. So that seems like what we're going to have to do. All good, I guess. Oh, 20 plus turns. Now it did change. Uh, this one does not have a river super close by. No, oh, maybe that's a bit of a mistake, but that's all right. Can't quite get it up to this river, so won't be building a holy site in this location. Um, but we'll have holy sites on the other ones. That's still going to be helpful. Honestly, another galley would be a really good idea multiple reasons I'll leave you there for now uh, we might put one of our next cities down this way I'm not sure Writing is easy. All you have to do. all right tech tree uh, improve to sea resources help us get harbors I do think that's a good idea Shipbuilding will allow land use to embark. That's a really big one for us. Um, just based on where we're at at the moment. We still got to find another landmass before that becomes worthwhile, though. So we get the watermill. We do have a couple guys near rivers. So that's still going to be useful. Oh, you've got swordmen. 
Well, isn't that just fun? Little stone kites. I mean, we can buy swordman from you. Oh, we can. Oh, hello there. Might be worthwhile. Till then, though, we got to double this swordman. I mean, if I buy a swordman, it will help towards his, his thing, though. So I might do that because we don't have... Oh, you know what? We already finished the iron thing, didn't we? We don't have iron, do we? I just realized. All right, well, there's a government unlocked, at least. Um, I do tend to like oligarchy a lot, and we are going to get a second economic policy slot anyway. So let's go and go into oligarchy. Help us out a bit. I probably need to start planning my attack against Jerusalem here soon. We're still doing naval units. That's fine. Probably a gauge. Oh, no. We'll do the barbarians for now. That'll be helpful. These two are still good, I think, at the moment. And then... Honestly, see if we get us a great general. That would be really nice to have. Well, nothing else is boosted at the moment. We're probably not going to get a wonder, so we'll start working on drama and poetry. Uh, man, Swordman is going to be trouble. He's about to heal up a bit, isn't he? Especially with the archer coming up behind him. We're still two turns away from being able to get our own swordman, which will pop up where Coca-Cola Coca It's going to pop up in Coca-Cola. Can you rename cities in this game? Actually, I've never done it. Never messed with it. Um, can, yeah. All right. Sorry, Coca-Cola. If somebody actually, I don't know if that's a name of a modern city as well, or if it's just an ancient city, but it's just too funny to name this Coca-Cola. All right, so Coca-Cola here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Just because I can. I've never, I don't think I've ever renamed a city in this game. I, obviously, if I asked if you can, I probably haven't done it before, but I had to. Ugh. Swordman is going to be a pain in our backsides. I'm going to hit the swordman again. I Normally, I would like to hit the archer, but that will just open up the archer to pillage this for sure. And he, they don't usually pillage if they can't gain the health back. So if I pillage this, shoot this guy... It's less likely that this thing's going to get pillaged right this second. Um, I guess our warrior's going to try and come up and help a little bit. Let me get you healed up before I send you back out again. We found any other land? We have not found any other land. So it looks like any other land is likely going to be once we get see the, the, the ability to go over the oceans. Where's this? This is Coca-Cola. Um, I'm in a campus is very very good oh it's a really good campus but i really want to save my money so because we have some good campus sites i'm going to hold off on the campus for right now another archer could be very useful let's say another settler let's go and do another settler Alrighty, well, these barbarians are going to be trouble until they turn it into a city-state. Yeah, that is one one aspect of this, is that you have to deal with barbarians longer if you go this kind of route. Oh, he's pillaged it anyway. I didn't think he was going to because he couldn't get the hill, but he did it anyway. Alright, at least we'll be able to get rid of the swordman. Oh, we are not going to be able to get rid of the swordman. Oh, that's annoying. There's nothing else for him to pillage right this second. He wouldn't be able to get to that in time. So we should be okay killing that swordman here in a moment. Probably immediately work on a builder, actually. Oh, hello. 
more swordmen. Oh, I can get my own swordman now. Why not? Wrong button. Wish it took one of their swordmen or something cool. <laughs> That'd be a, that would be convenient. That swordman's going to get away. Um... Honestly, right there, not the worst idea. I talked about it before anyway. I don't want the barracks. I don't need the granary right this second. Another archer would be useful with all the mess that we're dealing with right now. Plus, it would set me up for going after Jerusalem at some point. Just like the swordman will. I'm going to back you up one. I don't want that archer to hit me again right this second. All right, well, our scout has seen everything he can. Once we can get across the ocean, we will be able to send him out more, but for now, he is done. Oh, don't get rid of my trade route. I really don't like you, good crazy person. Um, We'll get rid of the archer. At the very least, if he attacks me, he might kill me. I don't think he will. And then my sword might be able to finish him off. He's probably going to get rid of our trade route, though. Which is very frustrating. Let's go ahead and work on... I see the embarking is not going to help us if we don't have anywhere to go, right? So we'll work on masonry for right now. We don't have iron, do we? Oh, there is some iron up there. Uh, Not convenient for us to get to right this second. Oh, there's some iron over here as well. Okay, so I'm, that's that's good. There is some iron. That is useful. He didn't get the trade route. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Um, I think you attacking this guy is fine. I'm going to put you low, but nobody else can attack you right now. It leaves the swordman up here to go up to this direction. Oh, archers everywhere. Let's get rid of the swordman. These two archers will be able to do some damage. I don't think they can kill him. And that other swordman can't follow up, but he will be low, which will mean that he is uh, vulnerable. All right, you got to come back and heal up. You can sneak up, take a shot against that guy. Sword needs to come over and help us out, please. We're going to back you up, get you out of the harm's way for now until we can get you healed up a little bit. Guess I could have moved this warrior up there by now, but kind of just holding on to him just to uh, kind of protect whatever city spot we want to put down here. By having him down here, we're not going to get another barbarian encampment right this second where we don't really want one. Grooming barbarians into city-states. <laughs> Easier said than done. All right, you got to get back into the city because you are v super ultra vulnerable. Vulnerable. So you're going to back up into there to get healed up. You're going to kill that guy. That's at least something. You can go ahead and plop a city here. We do want cities up here near the iron, though, at some point. Probably a city over here next to the olives to be able to buy out to that iron. So we're definitely going to want more. Um, honestly, an early water mill, help you with some food and production wouldn't be bad. We are having some amenity issues though. So starting to get some holy sites is definitely something we want to do. Oh, oh we have a pet path. We found a place to go somewhere else. In fact, I see some land. Oh, sorry. <gasps> see some land over there, some cliffs. Horsemen are ready for Jerusalem. Oh, they have horses. All them a reason to get rid of them at some point. Hmm. 
do want to shoot them, but it's too dangerous. If I shoot one, the other one's going to attack me either way, so. Uh, you know what? You can see still. He'll right where you're at, I think. We're fine. Trade routes. You get more gold from Kagawana. It is a little bit more dangerous, although they do have enough units, I think, to protect us. We'll go that route. Which does give us a, tra a, tr a trade route. Or a, a uh, trade depot, which does actually push it up to seven. So even better. It's risky because I know there's another quadrant running around out here somewhere. Oh, we did discover another continent too. Even better. Well, there's definitely some land over here. We want to get... We want to get somebody over there pretty quickly here. Um, I was going to say there's another quadrant up there. Right there, in fact. Uh, we're going to run away. Uh, we don't want to lose this unit if we can help it. Here's our archer. Another backup archer to help us out. We're going to take a shot against that. He is vulnerable, but he's already weak a little bit, so I think we'll be okay. All right, we definitely want to go for shipbuilding now. We have a place to send our units. I'd like to get a foothold over there as soon as possible. We can get some walls. Walls are always good. We can get a water mill. Water mill will help us grow to a point where we can, uh, and produce, obviously, where we can uh, get more stuff going. Oh, you have a promotion. Um, I did not realize that. I would have might, might have left you there. Oof. All right, we've got to get rid of the swordman. He's the most dangerous. The archer is still bad. Swordman worse because he can do some damage to us after the archer shoots us. You have to get back into the, ter the, the city to get protected. This guy can't attack anything. This guy can, but we should still be okay afterwards. Do like the movement. I do feel like we need to defend ourselves a bit right now against all these uh, quadrants running around. Don't really have anywhere for you to go. I'm going to try and get you back down here. Don't know if you'll make it. Uh, we do have extra envoys and we can't get this one to three, but that's not really going to help us at all. We can get this one to three. Also not going to help us. So we're going to hold on to our envoys a bit longer. Because none of that helps us in any real way. You do not attack me. Alright, I'm most scared of the swordman, but... Especially since he's across the river now. There's a good chance that Swordman with the Archer can kill this Archer up here. Because he's not going to be weak enough to be completely gone. Alright. Can we venture out? Can, but not enough movement. We're going to back up a little bit. That's only going to let... No, no. Both of them could get in there, technically. So never mind. I probably should have stayed right there. That way only one of them could approach us. The reason I backed up is because I want the, all the movement to be able to come over here and try and kill one of them before they can uh, do an actual attack. We'll go ahead and grab Theology, even though we don't really need the Envoy, just because it's already boosted. Uh, temples will be useful to us at some point once we start getting our Holy Sites down. Speaking of Holy Sites, we can get one now. Which will give us uh, housing. And uh, amenities. So that would help our housing problem. Doesn't really matter where we put it. I think, I mean... Get a little bit more faith from here, but we have to spend some money to get there. I think this is going to be fine. Honestly, the main reason we're building it is for the housing. All right, Swordman did not attack us. I'm not sure why. So we'll just deal with the archer here. All right, those guys are still there. Let's say we can kill this one. I was a bit vulnerable to that guy, but I think we'll be okay. It'd be a city state in 10 turns. Oh, double archers. That is bad. Okay, one of them ran away. Well, not really ran away. Never mind. One of them just didn't attack us. 
We're gonna try and get past you. You're gonna still take one more attack, but we should be okay. That's a lot of units. Oh my goodness, the number of units they have. I do want your promotion, my friend, but I really need to get rid of the swordman. And I need both of y'all's shots to get rid of the swordman. All right, you're going to back up one because I don't want this swordman to be able to attack me. Would have been nice if you'd gotten him killed off. You're going to back up one. I could just take the promotion now. I mean, this guy's not is effectively dead. As far as we're concerned, we're not going to get XP really from him anyway. Let's do that. Let's get volley. That's going to help us out in the long run. Uh, we didn't get the campus side, did we? With the city we have up here now? No, we still have this one down here. Oh, it's because it was that one. And that guy already, that guy technically has it now. But that does give him a good campus side, I suppose. Um, I mean, a heavy chariot would be a strong unit to be running around smacking some stuff. Battery ram would help us get through Jerusalem. All right, I think we have to come down here. I mean, I would like to get some stuff up this way. I'd also like to get over here to the... Dude, I'm tempted to just send one over there with my ship that's coming back through here. I might do that. All right, I think we survived this enough to kill this guy off. I might wait for the ship to come down here, get him healed up, and then send that settler with him. Uh, which, in which case, we're probably going to send at least this warrior or this archer, maybe this archer, to go with him as well. Archer and Warwick, or Swordman, can both hit me here. Oh, I thought that was hills. I was like, okay, we'll just get up on the hills over here and shoot over this hill. I, of course it's not hills. I can move twice. Oh, well, uh, that's okay. Uh, I definitely should have moved this guy, though. I will do an attack with this guy to weaken this guy more. This guy will still be alive at least, so that's fine. There's a lot of units over here. They are going to turn into a city-state soon, though, which I think, again, I think helps us out. <laughs> so many units. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, so many units. Oh, I see what you're doing there. You're trying to cut me off. Let's just get in the city, get healed back up. I'll send you out with the uh, settler here momentarily. Well, that's helpful. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll see if they can get the city, our first city state from a barbarian uh, clan. And then we're also going to try and get a foothold. Never mind. Sumeria. Already got a foothold. On, maybe not a foothold. <laughs> they just already have land over there. Well, never mind. Well, this settler is then going to come down here now. That will be all right. We'll come up with another island somewhere. But anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.